folks! Welcome back to some more Fate's Granddaughter! On our last episode, we returned to the East Village, only to see it up in flames after being assaulted by Sir Tristan and his Enforcer Knights. And because of that, we had to dole out some payback to them in return. And hopefully, that'll be enough to cause them to retreat. Or, better yet, us maybe actually slaying Sir Tristan? Who knows? But one can only hope for that outcome. Anyway, with that we, Tidbit and Man, so let us continue henceforth and see what this last blip is all about. Okay, so we have Archer, Saber, and Lancer. This is probably going to be one of those AoE nodes. I would hope so. So let's bring a waiver. And the usual bread and butter. Ugh. In the sound of flesh and bone burning. Ah, oh, there is no greater horror. I don't know how you came to possess that silver arm, but its power is too much for you. Of course, even it cannot vanquish me. Let us call it a wasted effort. Oh, but of course. The enemy servant is still going strong. Despite all those attacks, he still heals in the blink of an eye. Hmm, has so Lancelot already descended the mountain? He asked me to allow him to take on the archer, but... To think he would really only take on one opponent. I guess he will always be the serious one. Oh well, it will not change the outcome. Now then, I do not have much time to waste either. You will all die here regardless. Continuing to resist will do you no! Know. Whatcha? <laughs> Scatter into the winds. Everyone, you came! Hey, bud! Thank you kindly! Yes, after taking care of those nobodies back there. Sorry for the wait. What a group of failures. They cannot even stop servants such as this. I have no kind words to good for nothings. The enforcement knights must better themselves. If you're going to talk nonsense, say it in your sleep. I won't let you get away unscathed. Tristan, knight of the round table, I'll never forgive you. No matter what. Same goes for us, old man of the mountain. The king will never pardon you. For had you not rebelled, the king would have achieved his objective long ago. The time has come. Gaze upon the western sky. It is time to accept your punishment and your regrets. What did you say? Don't tell me you! You! What's... what's that light up there? There's the power of light falling from the sky! Uh-oh. It can't be. The Western Felge is being swallowed by that light. Oh. That is the Lion King's judgment. A pillar of purification from the sacred lands, Rongo Miniato. So sad, without any reason or words, to be so beautiful, yet so sad. As you can see, that tiny village of mountain people has disappeared. Holy moly! To use the goddess's lance like that! And it goes without saying that this village is next. It shall be purged without a trace. You! Have you all gone mad? You think that's King Arthur's doing? That? Of course not. I would not carry out enforcement if I was mad. By royal decree, we cast away our humanity! Judgment must not be clouded by sentiment. His majesty has succeeded in completely severing human emotions. Ugh. Five minutes from now, the Lion King's judgment will descend upon this mountain. Farewell, Sir Benavir. We shall never meet again. Oh, how sorrowful. This is beyond annoying. Trying to hold us back, huh? Look, so many of them. They're like Wukong's clones. Yeah, quit complaining and start fighting. We've got to do something about these guys first. Confirmed. A high-density magical energy response in the sky. Everyone, get out of there. How could we possibly leave? Serenity, you understand our role, don't you? 
Yes, we will assist Master Dave, even if we die here. Master, your orders! Well, let's break through the Enforcement Knight's ranks! Oh, this just went straight to 11! We're on Gominiado, though. That one's from the Battle of Kamlan. Interesting! I mean, I figured! <laughs> that what? What this? Okay. Shush, Mr. Wave. That's as good to say, though. With how Kabul has been going thus far, of course it's like an altered version of history and what have you, but it's kind of cool that this kind of takes post Kamlan, except Mordred didn't die, neither did King Arthur. It's like a what if scenario, except it's actually happening. <laughs> oh, I really like that! Shame that King Arthur seems a bit, uh, genocidal though. <laughs> But then again, it wouldn't be as interesting now, would it? <laughs> Could we actually get away with using our Tori as no Phantasm and then the cats for the subsequent one? I think so. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Because then we could buff a uh, cat with Elizabeth for the next wave. Yeah, we'll do that. Plus, we have a buster chain here. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we bought one. Hmm. This didn't go as according to plan. Okay, we're not going to use Tama Cat's Noble Phantasm yet. Unfortunately, we waste monster strength, though. Which is a shame. Indeed. We'll stun you. Just on the really chunky one, though, huh? Ah, we're not going to be able to kill this, though, right? We're not going to be able to kill them in time, no. To at least sustain the waiver buffs. Hmm. <laughs> Or maybe? Oh! I was so close! Dang it! I should have brought in Elizabeth for the attack buff. In retrospect. Granted, we could still do it now. You'll do it now, so let's get Liz. It's better now than never. Because if we're going to kill these three, then, well, that's. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. And then one of these. Come on, cat. We'll do it like this, yeah. Okay, our turret can finish off that last night. Hey, and then there's just a Lancer one left, right? Not Bowen. Oh gosh. Uh, that's a little bit rough. Especially since Cat is stunned. And now we have a Royal Artoria cards. But hey, we can crit. So why not? Oh, we chunked the block, a pretty hefty chunk. Not as much as I'd like, but beggars can't be choosers. Alright, at least we have a list brave chain now. I don't think that'll be enough, but I'll do a number on it. At the very least. Or we can get crap! No. Just a what, but uh, it's uh. And then you shall fall. Yeah, definitely now. At least you got a new scratch and post. Alright, oh, so those jobbers are done, Zod. What's next then? Hmm. 
right above you. Magical energy value over 3 million. Um, even the highest ranked noble phantasm has a value between 1,000 and 3,000, so... Forget it! It's just a ridiculous amount of heat! Everyone, hurry and take cover! You'll get burned to a crisp! <gasps> Let's make a run for it! How about the villagers? Right, we can't just abandon them! They're taking shower in the cave! Come on, let's go! It's no use! We can't escape and we can't save them either! We're all going to die here, no matter how you look at it! I mean, we knew that from the beginning, that this would happen if the other side decided to get serious. Who goes there? How dare you act like you know everything! Show yourself! Lord of Rash? Oh, it was him? Yo! Sorry I messed up! They got me! And just like that, I fell to the bottom of the valley. HOLY MOLY! You are in a terrible state! Oh, I said I'd hold them up for two more days. Yet, look at this. Come on, let me hear all the complaints. A rash, those injuries, you're already... What? Are you kidding me? If there's anything to reprimand you for, it's that sorry state of yours. You came all the way back here with energy injuries like that? Sit down there for a second. I'll give you a lecture on treating your body right. <laughs> thanks. But let's save that for another time. I messed up, but I've made it back in time for the opportunity to redeem myself. Harash? No. Quit looking so worried. It doesn't suit anyone here. Least of all of you. Well, I'm at it. Now does the ending where you all die here fighting. So, I'll get serious. Just this once. You guys stand back by the cave. Take care of the folks who made out their life. Relax. I won't let the attacks reach you there. It's just that it's more difficult if you're close by. What a rush. Not, not you too. Sorry, Sir Bedivere. After all those lectures I gave you, it turns out I'm the same as you. This just the way I am. I can't do anything about it. This is just how the heroic spirits that aren't hungry for power come to an end. We put things right, then cease to exist. We win the battles, but lose the war, as they say. Isn't that right, Sir Bedivere? You have it even worse than me. You reached your limit long ago. Yet, it's incredible how you still manage to remain standing. You give me too much credit, Arash. I still don't have the resolve that you do. Well, you're the only one who hasn't realized it yet. My resolve is nothing compared to your royalty. Loyalty? Whoopsie! Listen, Betafir, you can rest now. No, you should have rested a long, long time ago. Bringing that arm out and everything, throwing away your last remaining happiness. So, let me tell you, you've only got one more swing left. Make sure the next time is against your final opponent. You knew. My purpose. My various sins. Well, I do have clear points after all. No one can escape my insights and perception. But enough chit chat. Thank you all for everything. Lotta san, take everyone to the cave. Yes, leave it to me. Farewell. Farewell. You're the greatest ally I met on this land. What? We're not done talking. Hey! Only queers talk like that. All right, everyone's gone. Now it's time for some one and one with the annoying thing above. Yes, a fitting opponent. It's time for the big win, Lord Arash. Wait, you were still here? Sitting and drinking wine too? Yes, it'd be a shame if no one was here to witness your final glory. So I'll stay here. Let's see what you've got. What? Look, if you mess up, I'll take care of the rest. Don't worry, just give it everything you've got. I see. Well then, as a fellow archer, you're definitely one person I don't want to screw up in front of. Oh, sacred lord, who oh, radiant lord who bestowed wisdom, sanctity, and strength upon me. I call upon thee to witness my heart, my thoughts, and everything I've achieved. Now, creator of the moon and stars, behold my deeds, my death, and spent to arm armati, which I must catch out. After I unleash this last arrow with all my strength, even my iron body shall shatter and annihilate me where I stand. Lord Meteor Stella! Oh gosh, no!
Surely impressive. Few have been shot to have the stars, but none have the divine skill to obliterate them. Brilliant indeed. Harash Kamen Gear. It was a shot as if Hachiman, the god of our tree war, dwelled within it. Ah, no. Rush! Oh, man! Ah, it's time to read the other stuff. It's awful! Too awful! Even the Buddha would weep! Oh, Rush! He said he was so happy to be summoned! He said he was so ecstatic to have become a servant! That's idiot! That dummy! Calm down, Zang Zang! Not in front of the children! If you cry, they all will too. What's wrong with crying when I'm sad? Besides, what were you up to, Toa? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have a good answer. If I said I sent him off of some good wine, that'd be bad. I can hear you, idiot! Why do men insist on parting like that? Zang Zang's flipping out. Tota's getting clobbered. Yes, well, thanks to Arash, the village is safe, but at what cost? <laughs> Indeed, at what cost? Lord Arash was a hero from ancient Persia. They say that with a single shot from his bow, he brought a war between those two countries to an end. According to legend, the arrow he shot from the mountaintop landed far ahead, piercing the ground. That arrow was an earth splitting shot. It was a shooting star that brought peace. They say that the spot pierced by the arrow became the new border for the two countries. However, the extortion was too much for a human. The hero's body scattered the moment he shot that arrow. The arrogance of a mere human splitting the earth was unacceptable. As punishment, the hero gave up his body. A noble phantasm at least at the, at the cost of one's own life. That's just unfair. Oh. Lord Hassan, what has become of the western village? Is it true that not a trace? Indeed, not even a single shadow remains. But the previous raid proved to be a fortunate event. The majority of the villagers already evacuated elsewhere. Hundred percent stayed there for that very purpose. There were some among them who couldn't part with the village, but that was on account of their faith. We couldn't just walk all over that. Oh. Everyone. The funeral for the villagers is about to begin. Let us at least pray together. No, there will be no need for that. Dave, leave the village immediately. What the water rushes shot saved the village, saved the mountain, will soon spread to the holy city. They'll come for us, that much is clear. Head for the desert before that, Dave. He's right. Heading to the Alice Institute is more important right now. We have King Hassan's orders too, but what we want right now is information that will help us rise against the Holy City. Now that we've seen the light of judgment with our own eyes, we know that there isn't a moment to lose. We have to find a way to counter that. That's right. That will be what brings solace to those who died. After we evacuate the people of the village, we must prepare for the advance on the Holy City. Serenity and I will remain in the mountains. The next time we will meet will before they attack on the holy city. Okay, we'll split up from here on out, but how will we keep in touch? As for that, I'll spread the word about Dave to all the mountain people, wherever they may be. If something happens to us, they'll hear about it, and vice versa. Very well, Hassan. Everyone, take care. You too, Lady Mash. Rusht will miss you, but I'll find a way to make him understand. Yes, thank you. Master Dave, I'll say goodbye here as well. I know I promised to protect you until the end, but the duties of an old man of the mountain take precedence. Still, it's clear that our powers will serve to assist you, so I hope to help you from the sidelines. It's decided then. Hassan's group will remain in the mountain region and to prepare for the advance on the Holy City. Dave, Mash, Bedivir, Xing Zeng, Sang Zung, Tawara Toa, you five will head for the desert. Shall we meet again in this village? Yes, the leaders of each village will gather here for the final confirmations before we depart for the holy city. Then I'll let Sang Sang and Toa know. Looks like another journey to the desert. Now then, our work here is done. For the time being, I leave the rest to you, Sir Pedophia. But I will say this, we will never forgive the Knights of the Round Table, especially Tristan. Upon our honor, we will make sure that Heretic's death is the cruelest of all. Never forget that. Should you defend him, 
I will show no mercy, even for you. Of course, upon my sword, upon my soul, I will never do such a thing. The injustice committed by the Knights of the Round Table as a responsibility held by all of the Knights. Hence, if the Lion King is exposed to this true evil, I implore you, treat me no different than the rest of them. As one of the unsightly invaders who violate your land, I want you to equally bestow upon my neck the judgment of death. Everything has just gotten so heavy now. Granted, I knew that there was a weight to it ever since our first assault on the village. Well, their first assault on this village. But in the heat of the moment, I was absolutely hyped to getting to use my Elizabeth. But now it's just... Man, that sucks. Oh, my... West Village Ruins as well. Oh my gosh, this place is getting ruined as well. Well, back to the Wastelands of Death. Section 13. Senpai. Berserkers and Assassins. Well, it's been tradition thus far, but I guess I just want to change up a wee tad. Let's bring a Nito Chris. Let's remove this. And you. Let's change this up for a formal craft. Wherever it may be. Because sometimes I'm a little bit of a dipe. Okay. Nursery rhyme. And then we just need to... Oh, no, 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 no. I want to put Talmo here. With this. And then just put somebody in the back. Like, I don't know. Um, just Artoria for bond experience, I suppose. Alright, this shall be our set for this particular note. Let's see how it goes. Section 14, to the Desert of Atlas. I have returned, Majesty. Her apologies for the delay. Sir Algrafane had urgent business for me to attend to. There she is. It's fine! I ordered you to protect any humans fit for the Holy Selection. If that is achieved, I have no punishment to give. Raise your head. Yes, Your Majesty, thank you most kindly. Knowing that I have not defiled Your Majesty's kindness brings me unspeakable joy. There are twelve humans fit for the Holy Selection. We've already brought them to the Holy City and handed them off to the supervisors. From now on, I will also join in the defense of the Holy City. Does that suit you, Aggravate? Of course, it is problematic that it took so long to suppress the rebels, but the king has forgiven it. I shall let it go. I would have you assist and guard in the third tower. Mmm, so on, so on. Thanks to your work, the king's plans have entered the final stages. The confrontation with Ozymandias is near. The third tower will be the king to protect in the royal castle. Mm. Consider your assignment as honor and honor. Head for the tower at once. Before that, I beg our king to please allow me a question. Disrespectful and unnecessary, the king must prepare the sacred lands without your comments. Wait, Agravain! It is the wish of a knight who has not once asked for a word in all his years of service. I cannot turn it down. Yes, your majesty. You may speak so on so on. What is it? I have just returned from attacking the village of rebels in response to Sir Tristan's request. I do not. I did so uh, that village hosted rebels that committed sins before the main gates of the Holy City. I heard it was brilliant work, Lancelot. What of it? Why was the Sacred Hearts un unleashed? Sir Tristan saying fire to the battlefield was already excessive. Dropping the Lance of Judgment on top of that was simply cruel. Thus far, Your Majesty has brandished the Sacred Lance to rule these wastelands. But even for rebellions, not once has the light of judgment been unleashed upon human settlements. Under these pressing circumstances, we utilize fear to speed up governance. We believe that this is the righteousness of the Lion King. But using the sacred spear against a village is wrong. That is not justice. That is not even fear. That's just senseless slaughter. My king, why do such a thing to the village? I would like to hear the true intention behind it. Even more so if it was not your majesty's decision, but that of someone else. The opinion of someone who keeps the government. Are you other knights not curious of that too? Whether the king's decision was really his own? 
What are you implying, Sir Lancelot? That was quite a suggestive speech. Only the guilty would hear it so. We knights of the realm have no use for those with a guilty conscience. How dare you? Stand down, Agravain! Heh! For some reason, you grow short tempers when Lancelot is your opponent. And hear me, my knights! The enforcement through my secret lands was entirely of my own volition. The reason I have never chopped down a human settlement is clear. Burning down a village would only fan the flames of rebellion. The bonds of the mountain people would only strengthen, and they may even prepare an army to invade the holy city. That would be unnecessary. Until preparations with the second lands are complete, I have no time to spare on egg significant scuffles. However, the second lands has entered the final stages. The tower at the ends of the world will finally be welcoming us. Our greatest enemy was time. We had to open the tower before that king entered the next stage after the incineration of humanity. And that is about to take place. The defiance of the mountain people is but a trifle. Therefore, I launch the direct enforcement of the village. If the rebellious forces rise up because of it, all the better. If it be but a small number that reach the Holy City in a fight to the death, Sir Gawain can manage the extermination on his own. This was my true intention. Have you any objections, Sir Lancelot? But, if that was the case, there was no need for enforcement. If the defense of the Holy City is complete, then there is no need to so recklessly rob them of their lives. But you say they aren't complete. Threads that disturb the king's heart yet still live. So, Lancelot, it is due to your fail to our failure, of course. I was about to just put the full blame on him. Whoopsie. You've returned, Tristan. What did you mean just now? Sadly, the eastern village hasn't been eliminated. The rebel servants must have resisted. Unbelievable as it may be. They blocked the king's light completely. They blocked the sacred lance's attack. There is none among them capable of such a feat. Ah, oh, but there is. Rush Kamengill, his skills rival even mine. Seriously? Tom, that guy's good. Shut up, Mordred. You'll anger the Lion King. Yes, he was quite impressive. He was also the one I asked Sir Lancelot to take care of. It may have been poor judgement, yes, but there was also a fail on your part, Lancelot. As a result, the rebels survived and left the mountain. They were headed in the direction of the desert, and that's where my bow snapped. They likely mean to join forces with Ozymandias. As far as I can see, it is the worst combination. What a blunder! How do you propose to make amends, uh, Lancelot? Chase after the rebels and capture them, of course. My punishment shall be afterward. For first disgracing his majesty, I have no choice but to offer my head. Oh, and it's not your fault. I'll assign the pursuit to others. I have no leniency left for you. Sir Gawain, say his onslaught. On the morrow, you shall be relieved of your duties and sentenced to confinement. Can you make it in time, onslaught? The rebel star is swift and free. Can you capture them? Of course, I swear upon my treasured Ardenite. Ardenite, sorry. Your Majesty! I order you to pursue the rebels, Lancelot. Hurry! The walls of the castle will soon appear. Return before that. Yes, Your Majesty. Duh! Do not be so angry, Angravine. With Lancelot, there shall be no mistake. That must be true. You always believed so. Forgive me, my king. It was an untoward remark. Remark, ba 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 ba. Sir Agravain, may I continue with one more report? What? Is there more? Yes, I saw him. Among the rebels. The one-armed knight, the, lo the most loyal among those of the round table. Our sworn friend, Sir Benefer. What? Benefer? Why would he be there? There's no way! Save your jokes for taverns and women, Sir Tristan! Benefer? A most unlikely tale. Yeah, that's right, Agravine. It's insane, huh? A feeble like knight like him is for some reason among the... Mordred, you know? Uh, I didn't think it was worth mentioning. That's all. I mean, come on. Can we didn't say anything about it either, right? Save your silly excuses. No, wait, I see. So that's what the battle at the main gates was about. So, Gawain, what is the meaning of this? Why didn't you report this to us? To the king. With Benavir's aiding the rebel... 
It's no wonder Sir Tristan suffered an upset. That man may be lacking in skill, but he is an expert on our round table state of affairs. In addition, he is the king's closest follower. No, never mind that. Are you telling me what personal feelings cloud your judgment? The reason I did not Papa Sapedivir is because he is unworthy of attention. He is but an novice, never even summoned by the Lion King. He is a rebel, nothing more. There is no need to treat such a knight with special attention, because our king is perfect. In judgment, in ideology, in actions, I believe he is flawless. In which case, one or two nights shifting size would not impact the overall plan. What can Sir Bedivere do? No matter what he may do, the Lion King's heart will not be disturbed. Is that not right, Agravain? True! Even if that man goes over to the enemy, it's not as if he can do anything. Well done, Sir Gawain! You may return to protecting the main gate. It is not as if he can do anything. True, if he were the former so bit of air. What do you wish to imply? But if he was your close friend, perhaps sentiment prevented you from doing something about him. Of course not. I had no personal feelings. My gift is reversal. You have not forgotten that, have you? How could I? True, there's no way you now would succumb to personal feelings. So Tristan, guard the castle town. Sir Mordred, continue to sweep the city's surroundings. Forgive us for disturbing your throne, my king. Please do not let Sir Bedivere concern you. It could be very well tr Sir Tristan's misunderstanding. Even if that's true, all you must do is welcome into his majesty's round table. Well, there's no problem. Please open the gates of the tower at the end of the world with your utmost. Wait, what have your souls been talking about all this time? Huh? Bedivere. Who is this Bedivere? Oh, you don't. Remember of your most loyal knight. Enemy truth is up ahead. Everyone, prepare for battle. It's not much of a response. You should be able to take care of them. Once you get past this, you'll be in the desert. Communication from me won't reach you there. But I'll always be monitoring your responses. Dave, so it's not like I've disappeared. It's too bad I can't help you navigate. Just be careful. When you come back to the wastelands, be sure to come to show me how much you've grown, Dave. Leave it to me. Thanks for always helping us, Doctor! No, 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 the honor is mine. I could never thank you enough. Personally, that is. Oops, no time to be chit chat. I've got to go get it together, too. Fail! We're about to make contact. Everybody, dismount and prepare to engage. Yay! More soulless people! I saw what I'm assuming it's gonna be. Maybe it'll be a bit of a change. Probably not given the classes, though. Yep, definitely not. We could do Neo Christie's Normal Phantasm straight up, but there are free waves, so I see no rhyme or reason to. Why not just do this? Because we can kill at one. Almost two, but not quite. Monkey Dots are arching, eh? I'll take this. Hell <laughs> you. Okay. And then a whole bunch of berserky boys. Hmm. We could just build up to Nursery Rhymes Noble Phantasm, which I think I will. Or alternatively, actually. Why not just do this? And then just... Boop. 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 Because in that way we get enough Noble Phantasm Gage for the last thing. Yeah, that'll probably suffice. Aw, oh, no dead crocs. Ah, oh, well. They still died when they were killed, and oh, it's a soul eater. Well, we have a brave chain of the. Uh, I was about to say Neo Crest. Nursery Ram! Ooh. <laughs> 
Now, hopefully, this shall suffice. By doubt, I will. No, we've never done over 200,000 of just one chain with Nursery. But at least do over half of its health. Dang, even with self modification, it wasn't sufficient enough. <laughs> oh well. Give me a crit, please. Oh. Yeah, I'll have an under half. Not too, too bad. Oh, we can start building up NP gauge again. Any hoodles? Granted, we could also bring in Chloe, right? NP. For an extra noble phantasm. Oh my gosh! Calm down there, sir. Yo, did this little bring in Chloe, I think. Okie dokes. Come here, you tad munchkin. Just do a wee bit of cleanup. <laughs> right. This should work out. Yeah, but. <laughs> Ah, well, she still managed to bonk it. Kill Leo. And a couple of chains to boot. Piece of candy. <laughs> All right. So what's next? Okay. So the sandstorm desert. So it's not going to take us too long of a trip to reach Osimandis, I would presume. Mm, doesn't look like it. But I think this shall be a good enough ending point. And oh man, I also apologize for being a little bit less peppy and chipper and what have you during this episode because. I was not expecting Arashi's de death to just affect me as much as it did. Man. Because at least with Da Vinci, there's at least like that wee glimmer of hope that she may come back. But Arash? No, he's gone. And I really liked him too. <laughs> but, anyway folks, enough about that. Thank you all for watching this episode of Fate's Granddaughter. And I'll see y'all next time as we continue on our quest to fix up this singularity and hopefully get some nice wee payback. Ta-ta for now.